Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and today we are going to do day 19 of Advent of Cyber 2021, which is something fishy is going on. So deploy the machine attached to this task. It will be visible in this split screen view once it is ready. So, ready. So let's start this machine and move on. We have Maxkiri received reports of multiple phishing attempts from various elves. One of the elves shared the email that was sent to her along with the attachment. The email was forwarded as .eml file along with the base64 encoded string in a text file is Grinch Enterprises up to their shenanigans. So let's see. We have the email, the email body. Does it contain any grammatical mistakes, grammar mistakes or does the email give you a sense of urgency that you need to act fast? These are the signs that the email is a phishing email and it is telling this email is I guess about you have to reset your password and let's see it also has an attachment. See when reviewing email source code you will typically see encoded strings in base64. Okay we see you can uh, view the source code of the email please refer the example below okay so you can use linux to run commands okay i guess we had to split uh, use split view where is it where is it uh, shows yes show split view so let's move on to start answering the questions we can cat out the attachment.txt we can decode it using base64-t and we can for you know forward it to a file that is file.pdf which is its format you know that the file is a pdf file based on the magic header so this percentage pdf-16 is the magic header magic headers are the you know first bytes of a file that helps your computer identify it as a you know jpeg pdf and other file formats okay i can show you what are magic bytes A list of file signatures so here you can see that these are the first few uh, characters of a file that identify so for example we have for let me see for a jpeg file yes we are a jpeg file we have this ff4f ff F, F, and 51 or yo yq these are the few magic words you can use to let us computer know that it is a jpeg file so these are what is magic byte so let's see who was the email sent to so let's open up email attachments and let's open up this email and see who is it sent to okay is it working yes it is but it is a bit slow yes the email is sent to this person which goes by the name elf mc person at the red tbf okay so let's go back here this is the email so let's open open with mouse pad okay let's make it a bit bigger and it is delivered to this elf mac Pearson at the rate this tbfc.com so let's move on phishing emails use similar domains of their targets to increase the likelihood the recipient will be tricked into interacting with the email so it kind of looks like that you have to gain the uh, you have to gain the trust of the you know your victim in so that he will interact with your email so you use some similar domains the target uses so he uh, this our attacker here is using customer service it is showing us that this email is from customer service at the rate t8fc.info okay so let's paste it in moving forward sometimes phishing emails have a different reply to email address yes we have reply to this fisher at the rate tempmails.grinch copy it 
paste it here if the email was replied to what email address will the receive will receive the email response less sophisticated phishing emails will have typos what is the misspelled word so let's see here is our email okay okay here is our email dear elf we would like to inform you that your tbfc online banking has been temporarily limited because you haven't updated your password according to our ter new terms of use you have to reset your password street so the straight spelling is wrong here so this is straight okay is it working yeah okay okay we have to uh, paste the wrong uh, alphabet i guess wrong word yes it is the email contains a link that will redirect you to a recipient to a fraudulent website in an effort to collect credentials what is the link to the credential harvesting website so let's see okay this is the reset your password and we see this address so let's copy link location and paste it here viewing the email source code there is an unusual email header what is the header and its value so let's go back okay we can go back we can go up but let's see what is the weird we have this content transfer encoding base 60 which we already saw am i am a version contract type is x cringe fish i guess this is the weird header and its value is something some weird string you received uh, other reports of phishing attempts from other colleagues some of the other emails contain attachments open attachment or txt what is the name of the attachment so cross it out we don't need this anymore so let's open this attachment or txt open with mouse pad and this name is password reset instructions dot pdf so it is a pdf file this attachment dot txt i guess the decoded one what is the flag in the pdf file so we already saw what we have to do so let's implement it click here open terminal here let's cat out our what was the file name uh, attachment and i guess it was dash base 64 dash this and we will use pipe to decode this this sign is actually used to pipe a command to others so that after it runs the cat, cat command it runs this base 64 dash decode command and we will add to a file called file dot okay it is file dot pdf okay so let's ls and we have a file dot pdf so let's open this file okay it is image let's open with google chrome and we have a flag here try hack me aoc i can read it it's pretty small so let's paste it here and see it is try hack me aoc three phishing three phishing analysis i guess Okay, so that completes our day 19 of advent of cyber 2021 and thank you for watching.